perhaps a spiritual application of this could be that those um, shells that they have provide protection. They can retreat within that shell whenever there's danger. And so the shield of faith is like our protection. We can retreat behind that shield of faith, so to speak, and wield our sword of the Spirit from a place of safety. Now our faith is in the completed work of the Lord and what He's done for us and what He's promised. And the sword of the Spirit is the words that we speak uttered by the Spirit in attack, in attack mode, where we are carving out territory for ourselves. Territory that Jesus has paid the price for, the en enemy is illegally holding on to, and so we take back, so to speak, that which has already been paid for by the Lord. Much like the children of Israel did back in the day when the land was occupied by others, God uh, said, this land belongs to you, you can go in and take it. And they had to take it uh, by the sword, obviously in faith, and the enemy would resist them taking it back, the land that belonged to them. So too, in, in modern terms today, uh, the spiritual territory that belongs to us, we have to take back from the enemy who's illegally holding on to it. We enforce his defeat, so to speak, because Jesus completed the work. He said it was finished, and so he completed the work of spiritual redemption and purchased our salvation and the blessings and this earth for us. He bought us back from enemy territory, the slavery to sin. So taking it back works out from a position of rest, but nevertheless there is some spiritual warfare, so to speak, where we hold up the shield of faith and we wield the sword of the Spirit having worn and having placed on us and keeping on us the, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the feet shot of the preparation of the gospel of peace, and the belt of truth. So all of those things are involved in spiritual warfare, but that spiritual warfare begins with our seated position in Christ, a position of rest. We then walk it out in this life, and when the enemy challenges us, we take authority. So just a couple of thoughts in that regard.